Okay, one example here in Micah 5, 2, and this is quite common, but in the, in the King James Bible, you read about the Son of God, that his, his uh, goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. In your um, NIV, you're going to find, for example, and the ESB 2001 edition, they keep changing. They've, ESV has come out with three different editions in 10 years, and they keep changing the text. How, do you know how much they've changed the text? In the I've got years? examples. I have a whole article on the ESV version, and I've got scores of examples. Excellent. Of, you know, that's one of the, that is one of that's the darling uh, of the of evangelicals fundamentals. Yeah, really growing. Now ESV. everybody talks ESV. They love ESV, and yet it's defective. It's deficient, and uh, you do well to uh, look at uh, Will's website because. He's got all these examples, and you can use those examples, or at least show yeah. them to people who think, and the ESV is nothing more than a power-washed uh, RSV, RSV, because that's where they got it. Yeah. So, it is. go ahead. Yeah, well, it'll say that uh, instead of his goings forth are from everlasting, it says whose origin is from ancient times. And so that means that the Son of God had an origin or a beginning. And you'll find that the Jehovah Witness Bible reads exactly the same way. So do the liberal RSV. And it's interesting is that Dallas Theological Seminary, 60 years ago, they came out with criticisms of the RSV, and this was one of them. Uh, no way. Yeah. Wow. But now you've got today Dan Wallace and his net version, mm -hmm. and he's a professor at uh, Dallas. Dallas. His version reads the same way the old liberal RSV did, that uh, the Son of God had origins from ancient times. I'm glad I came today to learn this. Yeah, well, I knew I knew I was going to get a, a great lesson.